Elijah Bender was recently diagnosed with Kawasaki disease. He had a fever and a rash all over his body, hallmarks of the illness. The symptoms looked familiar to his parents, Andrea Sterline and Stanley Bender. About the fifth day I thought about it and I seen a lot of similarities. Eleven years ago, Elijah's sister was diagnosed with the disease. There's no way to prevent Kawasaki disease and no one knows what causes it. In the United States, it's estimated that it attacks 10 out of every 100,000 children under five years of age. The disease has been reported in all racial and ethnic groups, but occurs most often among children of Asian background. Kawasaki occurs more often in boys than in girls. With the disease, the arteries, including the coronary arteries, become inflamed. Most children recover with no lingering effects. However, the disease can cause serious heart problems and joint damage. Dr. Jane Burns directs the Kawasaki Disease Research Center in San Diego. She says the number of children diagnosed each year is growing. I think that the number is increasing because of our educational efforts in the community to increase the awareness of the disease, both among the public as well as among physicians. Common treatments include aspirin to reduce fever and gamma globulin to lower the risk of coronary artery abnormalities. But the disease is sometimes resistant to these treatments, as in Elijah's case. So Dr. Burns turned to a new drug called Remicade. It's being tested at Rady Children's Hospital. It's been extremely safe and we've had no complications in terms of reactions to the infusion, allergic reactions, or any other kind of complication. Elijah began to improve within hours, much to the relief of his parents. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful. I mean, there's no words that could express how we feel about the situation. Although Kawasaki disease is not preventable, even resistant cases can now be treated. Carol Pearson, VOA News.